The purpose of this video is to address a common question that I get about people driving by your house. If you are in default on your mortgage, you might be experiencing people driving by your house, getting out of their car and doing various kinds of aggressive behaviors. I just wanted to tell you what I typically tell my clients in this situation in the event this is happening to you. If you're a subscriber to my page, welcome back. Um, if not, make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you have a question or a comment. I always try to get back to everybody as quickly as possible. So if you have missed mortgage payments, if you are behind, if you are facing foreclosure in some way, likely, no matter what state you're in, at a certain point in the process, your foreclosure will become public record in some way. Now, don't get me started on all of this. It can be very jarring. I don't think there should be public records of people's foreclosures. It feels very personal. I'm not a fan of it, but that is typically how it goes. In Washington, it reaches a certain point when you receive your final foreclosure notice, which is called typically the notice of trustee sale. That typically does become public record. What that means is um, kind of more predatory type of people are able to see that your home is in foreclosure and they are able to kind of start the process of bombarding you with various offers and things that they need. So the number one thing to understand is if people know that your property is in foreclosure, it's because it's likely a public record. If you want more information in your state about where the public record is listed or how to find that, you should probably just have a consultation with an attorney in your state. But the most common concern that I from, hear from homeowners is that people are actually driving by the property. Sometimes people get out, sometimes there are people taking photos. And so I just wanted to kind of walk through who those people are, what they might be doing, and kind of what you can do. So the first thing to understand is some of the people driving by the property might actually work for your mortgage lender. It is very common when properties go into foreclosure that mortgage lenders start um, kind of performing appraisals of the property. And so it might be an appraiser that was sent by your mortgage lender coming to the home. As long as they don't step onto your property or bother you in any way, they are allowed to take what's called drive-by photos of the home. Um, it can feel very personal. I completely empathize with you guys, but the mortgage lender will start to send people out there to kind of perform evaluation of your home. If you're applying for loss mitigation, if you're in a short sale review or a loan modification review, one of these people driving by the home might also be sent from the mortgage lender, but it's likely a good thing that they're there. Part of the short sale process, and there's more information about this if you need it, but part of the short sale process is getting on the same page with your lender about the value of your home. And so they will, it is part of the short sale process for them to send some sort of real estate appraiser to the home to kind of look at it and do an appraisal of the property. Property. So if you're in the middle of a short sale or a loan modification and this is happening, that's totally normal and it's part of the process. It's the same for loan modifications. Banks like to know what the value of the property is and they hire outside contractors to come do that. Other people that might be driving by the home, taking photos or doing something that just looks weird are sometimes investor buyers. And so there's a whole market of people out there who pay attention to the homes that are in foreclosure and then they kind of try to be prepared to make an offer to purchase the home to, in their opinion, help the homeowner if the homeowner wants to avoid foreclosure. I'm not gonna to get too much into my personal opinion about all of that stuff. There are some investors who are well-intentioned, who try to pay fair values for properties, who do you know things to help people get out of a tough situation. And then of course on the other side, and what we see more commonly is there are investors who have uh, kind of like tougher motivations, right? They are trying to kind of prey upon people who are in a tough spot and potentially purchase a property that you know, maybe they can get for a good deal because of the kind of emotional turmoil going on with the home. So I'm not gonna speak too much to what's going on in your particular situation, but that could be the range of, of who the people are driving by your home. Um, if my recommendation is always to talk to an attorney first or talk to a housing counselor first, talk to somebody in your state who's a professional before you start talking to the investor buyers. They have kind of one interest in mind. They have one end goal. And what you really wanna be doing is making sure you understand all of your options. If it ends up that selling your property to one of these people who's driving by your home is something that you want to do, more power to you. But my advice is always make sure you understand all of your options first. Um, and my last comment is sometimes these people can get a little bit aggressive. I have personally had clients who have um, these kind of investor type buyers walk onto their property. Um, as long as you are the owner of the home, 
as long as you are in the home and as long as the home is yours, even if you're in foreclosure, even if you're in default, that property is yours and you do have the right to you know, ask law enforcement to come and remove people who are standing on your property. I'm not in any way trying to say that that's the best thing to do. Usually if you just open your door and kindly say, hey, please, please go home. You're stepping on my property that will resolve the issue. But if you feel like you're receiving a particular kind of aggression, you know, you might want to take those steps. Basically what I'm trying to communicate is being in default, being behind on your mortgage or being in foreclosure doesn't mean that you're not the owner of the home. It's still your home and you should probably be reaching out to attorney to try to resolve the issue. Um, but people will know that your property is kind of, you know, up for foreclosure in some manner because most states allow that to be public record. If you have questions about any of this, let me know.